Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Christmas time is an absolutely incredible, incredible, magical time of the year. If you've been watching some of my recent clips, you will know that it's such a special thing for me, for my family, for everyone concerned, and for everything I do. It's such a special time I hold on to. I really, really love to hold on to everything which is special about it and really hold at heart the true meaning of Christmas. Today's been a little bit of a day where I've had a, I've had one or two moments where, where I've been really, really working quite hard towards Christmas preparations, and I've really been very, very busy, and I've been really run off my feet getting everything prepared. It pains me to say it, but and I'm trying to keep this all positive. I have hearing problems, and you know what? At Christmas time, it still can be difficult. I keep a brave front on and I stay positive. And you know, it's really not an issue because I know how to deal with it. But sometimes I get a moment where, oh, and it's and it's just like that. And it's like, for example, this morning I was getting ready to go to work and I'm already Christmas jumper day. I'm happy, confident, feeling really, really healthy. Had a nice chat with my mum this morning, what we're going to do for the weekend, I've got the weekend off, what we're going to do uh, for Christmas, if we've got any Christmas bits and pieces left to do, um, chatting, having a nice time. I even put Christmas music on, getting myself ready for work, jigging about, dancing and ready for work. Go to leave the front door, feeling really, really unwell. All of a sudden, as soon as I went to put my first step, I felt really, really unwell. And it was almost like that my head span a little bit. And I, I suffer with vertigo quite badly at times as well, but I haven't had an episode of vertigo for a long time. And it was in that second when I knew, OK, you need to calm down a bit. You need to relax a little bit. You need to make time for yourself and just concentrate on being healthy. And today's been a little bit of that where it's been on and off where I felt well, I felt unwell. My head's been a bit dizzy. And I've just generally felt a little bit off with my hearing, my balance, and everything which comes with that. Um, anybody who's suffered with a hearing and balance problem knows that it never quite goes away and it's always there. And it jumps on you when you're probably in your most stressed or your most, well, there's lots going on. And you've just really got to be careful and you've really got to look after yourself. For me, the last couple of days of my evaluate things, I've been doing loads and loads of Christmas preparations, doing jobs and bits and pieces for everybody um, in my family, which I love to do. I've been really rushed off my feet, busy with work, and then boom, it hit me this morning. I have to admit, with the medication which I take, I've, I've jumped straight in with that and touch wood, touch my head, I'm feeling, I'm feeling just so-so. Not incredible, but so-so. And I love Christmas, so I really don't want to ruin it, so I've really tried to just sort of relax and tone things down a little bit. But of course, it's got me thinking. So this evening, yeah, as you can see, this is me all natural. You can see there's no slicked back gel style today. There's no lashes of free spray or or smartness or 1920s era about me at the moment. This is me ready for bed at the moment. And the time is 20 to 12. And I won't be going to bed for a while because I do some studying. And I do some reading at night. But when I'm not feeling that great... I'm just trying to tone down with some Christmas music on which I'll pause for this clip and just watching some light TV with drinking some water. Um, and do you know what? Thinking about Christmas and how lovely it all is, it, it kind of makes me worry about things. And I know if you've been watching my channel, you'll know that I worry about a lot. Um, and I'm really trying to work on that all the time. And let's keep this positive. It is all positive and it's great. Anybody who watches my channel knows that it's a channel about the good and bad things about the bumpy road of life. And most of it nowadays is good. And it's been and it's been a and it's been a testing year, but it's been a great end to this year. And 2019 has been testing, but the latter part of it and the late summer has been incredible. And I've had some fantastic things happen and there's some fantastic things to go ahead in 2020. But roaming this back into Christmas has got me thinking. With the problems which I have around my hearing imbalance, it's got me thinking that I, I do things which I don't necessarily know. And I, is it subconsciously do them? For example, Christmas functions, 
when there's busy busy occasions going on or if we have people around to the family home or if it's busy at work and there's lots going on and a hustle and bustle of Christmas shopping while I'm out and about buying things, those last minute things. And it's really, really got me thinking. So Christmas is great, but do you know what? Sometimes managing it with a hearing problem, you really have to step back and evaluate things one step ahead. And you know what? I really had to do that today with not feeling so well. So for example, I work in retail banking in a very large branch uh, banking a bank, and it's great, but I really had to evaluate things. Yes, it's Christmas, and at times it made me feel really quite upset when I felt really quite restricted. And my problem, my health problem around my hearing imbalance problem or condition, if you want to call it that, um, does restrict me, but it's not going to at Christmas and I don't let it at all. I could have just said, do you know what? I'm not going into work today, but I didn't. I stayed at work and I really, really pushed forward with that. And do you know what? At the end of the day, I feel really, really proud about that. But do you know what? It really, really did make me think around Christmas. So things which I subconsciously do. So if I'm in a loud restaurant, I've gone out for a, a Christmas meal or if I'm having that lovely festive time with loved ones, fam, family, um, people who I know and treasure. Do you know what the first thing I always do? I always, if I enter, if I'm walking around with anybody, I always have the person on my good side. So I have hearing problems. And this will come as a bit of a shock because I haven't really had an update about my hearing for a while. But because I have no natural hearing, pretty much no natural hearing on my left side, my right side, I always get the person who I'm walking with or it could be a friend, could be a family member or a group of people who I'm with. I'll always have them walking on this side. I won't physically ask them, can you stand this side because I've got a hearing problem? It naturally just happens. Sometimes I don't know how it happens, but it just happens or I position myself in a course then with lots going on around this festive time, I'm in a bit more of a, a com confident place. I feel happy that I'm going to hear what's going on and I feel involved. That's the main thing. We all want to feel involved around the festive time, the celebrations. Nobody wants to feel the outsider. And you know what? Sometimes a hearing problem can make you feel like that. It really can. Um, and that's one of the things I do. The second thing which I do is if I go into a restaurant or if I go anywhere if I'm at work and lots of sound going on if there's Christmas music going on I position myself as though that I am positioned against a wall or like a screen or a hard surface so I know that there's going to be no one chatting or there's going to be no music or no loud sound behind me so I can concentrate on what's in front of me and what's on my good side you'll notice that I'm referring to my good side all the time because if very often even though I wear hearing aids it's not natural sound so if there's sound on my deaf side very often I don't I don't necessarily pick that up or I will but I just won't pick everything up and it can leave me feeling quite isolated and that's the last thing you want at Christmas that's the last thing in the festive season what you want to be feeling and you know what going forward those are two huge things which I do on a daily basis my next thing is and again, this probably comes around confidence and anybody who knows me will know that I'm confident with my customers and my colleagues. But in the background with friends and family, I don't have that much confidence when it comes to hearing and sort of putting myself out there, having a really, really great time. Um, and, you know, what? I love to enjoy everything and I really, really try and help everybody and I put everybody forward and probably in the front of everything all the time. Um, I wouldn't even have to know anybody for goodness, <laughs> for goodness sake, if there's. Anybody who I'm passing on the street or if I see somebody who's less fortunate than us all on, um, I, I put myself out there. If I can help, I will. If I can give anything, I will. When it comes to me, I'm not that confident. So the third thing which I always uh, which I always do is I always have somebody with me who knows my situation. Or I don't even have to talk about it. They just know. And for example, like my twin brother, for example, an incredible, incredible, incredible person. And bless him, he's just had his baby daughter and she's absolutely beautiful. And he's going through a whole mixture of emotions where she is so premature. And you can imagine it's a roller coaster of emotions. And his fiance is as well. And bless them, they're going through so, so much. But still, my twin brother, I don't even have to say anything to him. And he knows. For example, that's my third thing. So first thing. OK, so my first thing is when you are putting yourself out in those situations, really. So we've just mentioned for what which I do when I go into any environment that I go into an area and I will naturally sort of put myself on that one side of a person. OK, that's my first thing. Then we will 
The second thing which we've mentioned is I naturally then put myself in a, in a position where no sound gets behind me or no one's talking behind me. Third thing is, and this happens throughout the year, but more so at the festive time as well, um, or any occasion really, but it happens readily anyway, but my twin brother is a perfect example, and that's probably because we're twins as well, but for example, if I haven't heard, or if we're in a group of people who I know, or if we're in a situation where I know, and my mum's incredible at this, my nan, blessed her before her illness, used to be incredible at this as well. Um, she has Alzheimer's, of course, so it's slightly different now. But my dad is, uh, again, amazing. My brothers are amazing. But my twin brother, I've only got a look. I've only got a look at him. And he will kind of look on my face to know that you haven't heard, have you? You haven't heard, Bradley, what's been said. And straight away, he will jump in and he will support me with whoever I'm talking with or who, what's ever happening. And it's almost like that he won't let it be known that I haven't heard. He will step in and he will know exactly what I'm going to say. He'll know exactly what's happening. He'll know exactly the right thing to say to me to make me feel involved, to make me feel comfortable and to make me feel really, really at ease. That you can't teach. And, and... All these things happen at Christmas. And you know what? For having that day today, I've been going so, so full pace with Christmas at the moment. And today we're not feeling very, very well. I've had a bit of a funny sort of episode. And this has made me think of all those things. And um, it's just a mixture of emotions. Of course, it's all positive. We're going to keep it positive. But but yeah, but how strange. And I just wanted to include this on my channel. You, Everybody will know that my channel is a bit of a journal. And... Christmas is incredible, but like my blessed nan says, Christmas brings joys and sorrows. And of course, this is not a sorrow. It is just a small little hiccup, and tomorrow is going to be absolutely amazing um, in our Christmas festive season. But I have to admit, I've had a bit of a knockback, probably doing a little bit too much um, all for Christmas. And I have to admit, it's really got me thinking about just because it's Christmas, if you've got a hearing problem, you'll know exactly what I'm saying. There are things which we have to contend with. For example, knowing our situations before we even get there. I very often position myself where there's no background sound if I'm going anywhere. I know I've got to have somebody on my right side, my best side, as to speak. And having somebody who knows your situation and is ready to sort of, in a way, it's not a trip or a fall, but if you trip up on mishearing something and you think to yourself, oh my God, I'm going to start going bright red, or oh, I feel really, really exposed here, I feel really, really isolated. Having somebody like my twin brother, means the world to me, is ready there to pick up the pieces and sort of support me and sort of almost excel me so nobody else knows and it's just kind of our little secret. Um, so yeah, just brilliant. But one of those small hiccups in the festive season, and we all have them. Um, I don't have many. Um, I'm blessed to have an incredible family and, all, and they all know about my hearing problems and whether it's Christmas or just that Monday morning or if it's just the last thing or even if I wake my parents up if I'm not feeling very very well or if I phone my brother in the middle of the night and I'm not feeling very well I know they're going to be there to support me and I know not everybody has that but if you've got a hearing problem it's really really important so yeah just getting that off my chest feeling that I mean it's it's night time kind of now it's time where I'm sort of zoning down I'm getting ready to sort of relax go off to sleep ready for the next day ahead I wanted to capture this. It means a lot to me. Anybody with a hearing problem or anybody who knows me will know this means a lot to me. So if you've took any way, anything away, whether it's comfort, whether it's thinking, God, he's going through the same thing as me. Absolutely incredible. But let me tell you one thing. And my twin brother is going to be watching this at some point. It might not be now. It might not be for a couple of weeks or even months because he's so, so busy at the moment. He's going through something where something awful a little bit of a, you could call it a hiccup, a mistake, call it what you may. Something necessarily, if anybody ends up with a hearing problem or has a hearing problem, and it sounds a bit strange, but of course, think outside the box. My brother has just had a little premature, beautiful little baby. If anything necessarily happens with hearing, we all know if you have a hearing problem, it's not the end of the world. For a small little baby, of course, it's absolutely heartbreaking. But do you know what? With love and support and affection and a really, really tight support network, you will be fine. You will absolutely be fine. And, and that's pretty much all I can say. You know who you are and you know if you are watching, 
Cameron, you're going to be absolutely fine. And his fiance, Ayla, <laughs> um, my very best wishes. And do you know what? Strange things happen in strange places. And today I've not felt very, very well. And it's just hit a whole host of emotions. Um, so I wanted a little bit about me in this, a little bit about my hearing problems at Christmas. And I wanted to put my brother Cameron in this as well and what he's going through. So an incredible, incredible moment. And Christmas is such a special time. And of course, it's all about family at Christmas, isn't it? And yeah, OK, I may have a hearing problem. It may cause some issues and it may cause me some difficulties. But there's always somebody worse off, isn't there? Thank you very, very much for watching. It means the world to me that you've watched this clip. And it's just incredible. It really, really is. So thank you very, very much for watching. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.